everyone, I'm Peivi, an artist from Finland and this time I'm going to show you my full art journal. This is Dilution's creative journal and I've been filling it for four years on and off. It's really thick and much thicker than the first one. I've used a lot of collage art. They're all hand-drawn pieces and I hope you find this video really inspiring. You will get 75 <laughs> tips for your art journal, so let's begin!
I can combine different periods. For example, art that I made four years ago may look now a bit clumsy to me, but still I can alter it, I can use it, I can pick a pattern paper that I made several years ago and glue it onto something that I've made just recently. It's really inspiring to see those seeds of ideas and how my technical skills have developed over the years and how I can now highlight these ideas more when I've got more courage and more skills. When making art journal pages, I'm a big fan of hand-drawn collage art. So I have a stash of papers and I've organized them into boxes that I call boxes of joy. The first one has small collage pieces that I've hand-drawn and these are made mostly for the classes Animal Inkdom and Magical Inkdom where I teach how to draw animals and all kind of magical things with a thin-tipped uh, black pen. And I also have a bigger box where I store the bigger pieces from that inspiration. I have a box that has a more rough look and it's filled with papers uh, that I've painted now and then. I've sprayed some extra ink, I've doodled something when I'm tired and don't have anything else that I can do. I also have a little box with little paper pieces and I've also cut some so that they look like plants. And I love these little plant-like shapes and I love using them when I make art journal pages. 
and these boxes are like little shops so I like to go there and shop a little and I like to think that every one of us has our own brand and our own brand stores and we can shop our own handmade papers when a paper doesn't really sell so I'm not using it then I keep on decorating and see what does it take is something between scrapbooking and making real art but for me it's more like a sketchbook of ideas and even if I have real sketchbooks I have never quitted art journaling because I think that it's the best way to work with ideas subscribe to my weekly emails and you will also get a free mini course start making those hand-drawn collage pieces right away